soon as Fujifilm announced the 56mm 1.2 WR, I quickly sold my 50mm 1.0 and placed a pre-order for the lens within the first five minutes that pre-orders opened. Usually I wait for like a month after having the lens before I make some sort of video on it, but after my first outing with the 56mm 1.2 Type 2, I just have to share my first impressions with you all. Before we get to the good stuff, let's talk about the boring stuff. In comparison to the original 56mm 1.2, the new Type 2 or the WR, whatever you want to call it, is slightly longer, it's slightly heavier, it has a larger diameter front element, and it is weather sealed. The aperture ring feels tighter. The original 56mm 1.2 had this big problem about every time you pretty much breathe on the lens, the aperture ring would kind of get knocked off from whatever you set it to. I'm glad to say that this feels fixed in this WR our type 2 version of the lens. The sharpness of this lens is pretty amazing. They are designing this lens to be able to resolve for the next level X-Trans sensors, including the X-Trans 5HR, which is for 40 megapixels or something like that. I want to say that they delivered on that promise and even using an X-H2S or an X-S10, which have the smaller 26 megapixel sensors, the sharpness difference is pretty pronounced and I don't really find it over clinical. It doesn't seem too perfect. I don't think they're losing their kind of style style or aesthetic, the 56mm 1.2 is a great balance between bokeh and the sharpness. If you're like me, you're gonna really love this lens when it comes to portraiture, detail shots. Um, and for me, because I'm a little bit extra, I'm using it to photograph my family and the portraits come out absolutely amazing. <music> If you are familiar with any of my lens reviews, you know one thing that I nitpick and check and make sure that every lens that I own has a good close focus performance. And something with the original 56mm 1.2 and with the 50mm 1.0 or any pretty much any of these 85mm equivalents on Fujifilm, they could just never focus as close as I would want them to. I would get a little bit close to an object, a detail shot at a wedding, and I would have to back up a little bit. The 56mm 1.2 WR fixes that problem by reducing the close focus performance 20 centimeters closer than the original 56 millimeter 1.2 and the cool thing is that it is super sharp wide open I think because they're optimizing for these high resolution sensors they're making sure that the sharpness is covered all throughout the range and you can really use it at that minimum focus in comparison to some other older generation lenses that may have close focus but are really really soft kudos again on Fujifilm for engineering this improvement because this is the main reason why I sold off my 50 millimeter 1.0 if you're in food photography or doing detail shots or product shots. This is opening up the door for using this same portrait lens and using it over on this different type of genre and it just makes that lens all the more valuable. I think the main complaint about the original 56mm 1.2 was the autofocus. It was always hunting back and forth. God forbid you threw it into like a low light situation with something moving, but with the 56mm 1.2 WR, this Type 2 lens fixes that problem. It's snappy. It doesn't hunt as much as that original lens. It doesn't have an LM motor. I know everyone's upset about that because it's not as fast or as silent as the 18mm 1.4 or 33mm 1.4 comes to focus. But this new DC motor that they put in here is pretty fast though and that's what I want to say is also it's pretty quiet. It's not as quiet but I did some filming tests um, with the X-H2S and you could not hear the noise in the footage. I think they optimized the focus algorithm to make sure that it is doing well for both photo and video but again this is a big improvement over the 56mm 1.2 the original copy and it's you know a decent improvement over the 50mm 1.0 so if you've been looking for that fastest autofocus with the creamy bokeh this is going to be the one that you want to consider. If Fujifilm stopped the improvements at better sharpness, improved close focus and quicker autofocus, and the legendary f1.2 bokeh from the original lens kind of stayed exactly the same, for me it would still already be a done deal. I would have sold my 51.0 just for these improvements alone. But then Fujifilm decided to take it one step further and go from the 7 blade aperture of the original 56mm 1.2 over to an 11 blade rounded aperture. So the engineers just decided to stuff all that. Again, we got sharpness 
close focus, better autofocus, and then let's just add, how many blades is that? Uh, add four more blades to the lens, or if you're thinking about, does this improve over the 50 millimeter 1.0, which has a nine bladed rounded aperture. So we get two more blades after that. This one has really rounded bokeh. And also when you stop down the lens a little bit, say like 2.8 F4, it's still pretty round. So that's pretty cool because you get that nice, creamy, round bokeh, and you can still stop down and get some depth of field and sharpness back when this thing was already sharp as hell already. So Fujifilm, you did a standout job with this lens. I don't really like telephoto lenses that much, but this lens is probably gonna get me going back over to that bokeh creamy type photography in the near future. So let's consider if this lens is for you. One thing to consider is the 56mm 1.2R, the original lens has a reduction in price, so it's $699, and this lens is $999, so $1,000. And that original lens was a great performer, and it did very well for a lot of people when it comes to portraits, wedding photography, documentary photography, even street photography. So thinking about that, that original lens did well. If you're on a budget, this is great news because now you can get that original lens at the cheaper cost. Also, there's thinking about the 50 millimeter 1.0 in comparison to this lens. The 50 millimeter 1.0 is $500 more and it has a third stop brighter aperture. So you get that little bit of shallow depth of field, you get that low light capability, but it does have, like I said, the nine blade aperture and it does have considerably worse close focus performance. Not to mention that lens is huge. So I'm curious, from the samples, everything that you've been looking at, will you be getting the new 56 millimeter 1.2 WR? Will you be upgrading? your old 56 millimeter 1.2 R? Are you going to sell off your 50 millimeter 1.0 to get this lens? Or are you thinking about getting this as your first Fujifilm prime lens? Because I think it would be one hell of a first prime lens to have. All of these samples, images that I've been showing you are actually straight out of camera JPEGs, not edited from my custom classic chrome Fujifilm recipe, as well as my custom Acros recipe. And if you want to find out these recipes, please check out these two videos over here so you can learn how to replicate these on your own Fujifilm camera. Mm -hmm.